Hi, I'm Nerdiness. Welcome to Just So Nerdy. Today I'm going to be starting my son's Halloween costume. He has asked to be the Dark Knight's Joker, the Heath Ledger Joker. I am a big fan of this movie, so I'm looking forward to making it. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? The entire costume is made up of these elements. The jacket, the vest, the long sleeve shirt, the blazer, the pants, the tie, the shoes and socks, the pocket watch chain, the makeup which includes face and hair, and the gloves. Now my son already has a long sleeve shirt and a blazer and pants which I convinced him to use. We also have a pair of socks, a pocket watch chain, and a face paint kit. That just leaves the tie, the shoes, the hairspray, and the gloves to purchase since I won't be making those. All that leaves for me to make are the jacket and the vest. Well, that sounds simple enough. And here we go. I already have a pattern for it. It is look A, no, look C, B, look, what look is that? C and E, it's look C, that's not right. What? How am I so confused already? We're doing look A. I got my fabric somewhere. Let's see. Here we go. To line it, I've got this. All right. Ah, <gasps> no. Oh boy. I'm having all sorts of fun on this one. How am I missing a piece already? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I see it. And why, yes, thank you for noticing. I am in my pajamas. Now I have to do that all over again with the lining. <sighs> I did it. <laughs> I did it. I don't know how to line a garment. I looked up a lot of YouTube videos, but all of those videos show me how to line it properly. And to be perfectly frank, I don't care about lining it properly. I don't need to have the arms lined. I don't need to have it lined to match up with the collar and all that stuff. All I need is for it to line the front and the back and that's it. So I am going to just try to do things my way. Uh, <laughs> I just do things. So I decided that I'm going to baste the red lining fabric directly on to the purple fabric for the outside of the jacket. That way I can treat the fabric like it's just one piece and follow the pattern directions instead of making two separate garments and stitching them together. So this stuff is so shiny and slippery that as I try to sew it, it's just sliding all over itself. It's creating bunches and it's just generally being obscenely annoying. It's not right, and I hate it. It does seem to work better this way. Why didn't I do that the whole way? This side is nice and flat, and then this side is all... It's all bunched up, and it's that much longer. I've got to redo it. I have to redo it. I'm gonna redo it, and I'm gonna hate every second of it, but I'm gonna redo it and it'll be done right, and then I'll feel better about it. I have now basted this lining onto my uh, front and back pieces. I'm just gonna be able to follow the pattern from here on out. Uh, first step is attaching these big old panels on the side here. Oh, next is the pockets, all right, well, there you are. Turning in remaining seam allowances and diagonally folding corners. I don't know what that means. This is how. Ow, son of a. Wow. There we go. Okay. 
I got my pockets. I'm honestly not 100% sure exactly where to put it. I'm just gonna do my best on this. Pocket piece done. So the next step is to throw the flap on top of these pockets. And so that's this guy here. It turns into a flap. I thought I was supposed to have interfacing on that. I'm supposed to have interfacing on these pieces. Why don't I? Because I have three of them. Okay then. I've got, oh no, nope. <laughs> derp, 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 derp. That goes on that, that goes on that. You'd think I'd never made anything before. Press these guys out. Yeah, we're gonna pin it to the outfit to match where the uh, pockets are so that they will fold over. See, nice pocket and I got the flap all done. So the next thing I'm gonna do is connect the shoulder seams. This right here is where the sleeve is gonna be. So these seams get sewn together. And once I have those shoulder seams sewn together, then we're gonna have something looking like a garment. The garment has been tried on the boy. <sighs> Unfortunately, the pockets are not even, which is what I was worried about. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. I'm gonna wait until the whole thing is put together. Next step though, is to attach the sleeves. The pattern says ease stitch the upper edge of the sleeve. I don't, I don't know what ease stitch means. Stitch along Using long machine full thread and adjusting to fit. Note for sleeve cap row sleeve of long machine in seam allowance for more control. Lordy, I'm gonna have to watch a YouTube video on this because I think what it is is it's it's not gonna line up exactly. You have to kind of bunch it up a little bit in order to get make it fit around that seam around the top of the shoulder. I guess they want you to put threads in and pull so that it kind of bunches up and I do not know how to do that at all. I've watched my tutorial. I know what the e-stitch is now. I'm very positive that this is going to give me a headache. Okay, I have one sleeve that is pinned. I pulled on those threads. That all bunched up on it and filled it out. So I'm going to sew it and see what happens. You know, for a first attempt, I am not going to complain about that. That actually looks pretty fine. I'm fine with that. I learned something new. I'm just not used to things working out. I feel like something's gonna <laughs> look like I did something wrong still. This is basically just stitch it up and then stitch it on. I think it goes this way. I'm a little concerned because I've got dots so I don't line up. This might be a problem. Oh no. Why does my collar not fit? mess. So it's all wonky. It just it didn't line up properly. I don't know what I'm doing. So the collar is just all bunched up because it was the only way I could get it to fit. And I don't know if that's how it's supposed to look or what, but I don't think so. Collars are a level of tailoring that I am not good enough for. Here's where we are right now. Looks like an actual jacket, which is <laughs> good. So my lawn company stopped by at the only time I had to film this segment. Since I'm on a time crunch, I had to just push through and I couldn't do a retake, but basically what I'm saying is this. 
The collar is attached, it's wonky underneath, but you can't see that part, so I do not care. Now I have to add on the facing, and this is going to be tricky because of the fudging I had to do to fit the collar on. This is the facing. I made this backwards. I redid it. Looks like this is much better. I mean, I want it to fit, but it is gigantic. Oh, it's because <laughs> I'm putting it on the wrong way. Take two. This picture doesn't help. I think that this pattern kind of just takes it for granted that you know what you're doing, which I don't. You can learn from your mistakes, but then you get to make all new mistakes. For the last time, hopefully I'm gonna go sew this and then I'm gonna come back and try to pin it again. Um, what? Once we've pinned it, we can go ahead and get it sewn on. This is the same way I did it before though. Oh my God, you know what? Mm -hmm. I just realized what's really funny is that the way that I sewed it the third time is exactly the way that I sewed it the first time. I just didn't flip it around the right way. <laughs> oh my God, I got problems. I just couldn't figure out how to connect it properly and so I got very confused and then I thought it was backwards. It was, a, it was a hot mess. I have this weird unfinished part of the collar right here, which I assume was supposed to be inside this seam, but I don't know for sure. The same thing is going on over here. It's just this weird unfinished thing. So the question is, what do I do about it? I don't know, but I'm gonna make it work. So even if it's not exact to whatever the, uh, the pattern said to do, uh, I will make it so that it at the very least functions and my kid will be happy and that's kind of all that I care about. Joker can play by his own rules, so can I. The only sensible way to live in this world is without rules. This is the collar. This is the area where I had that weird little thing sticking out. I folded it under and then I just sewed it along this edge. You see here. You can kind of see the interfacing coming through. <laughs> That's from where I just cut the end off. But since it's underneath, you can't tell. And it looks totally fine, and especially from far away, it looks perfectly normal. So here's what I'm talking about when I say that you can make stuff and it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be wonky and it can be kind of messy, but it still can be cool. I am cutting the hole. Oh my gosh, it always gives me a heart attack. <laughs> now I'll make sure that this is laying flat to make sure I'm all lined up here. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my white pencil, poke it through and just make a nice dark line across here. Boop, there you go. Make sure these guys are about four inches apart. Okay, more or less. <laughs> One is done. All right, I got the buttons on. So this is way too long for him. I'm gonna hike up this bottom. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it out and cut it at like nine and a quarter inches and then just fold it over and make it happen. Um, I'm still gonna fix the pocket. It's extra work, but it's gonna bother me. And all I'm gonna do with the collar, is if you can see, it's all ruffled like this because I had to bunch it up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut some of this and sew it together so that it lays a little more flat. So that's my little finishing project. We're almost done, almost done. See, I sewed up this part and that part and sewed in that seam and that seam down. So now it kind of holds it down a little more and it looks a little more flat. I'm just gonna clip these edges here so that they're not as loose. And I'm gonna call that complete. 
I fixed the pocket. The only problem that I see, I'm not sure if you can tell, but where this first buttonhole is, it's a little bunched up here. I don't know if that's gonna show when he's wearing it. And bunching up right here. I pulled the fabric up and then I kind of sewed it in by hand to hold it up so that it makes it lay nice and flat here. And that, as you can see, is really, really ugly the way that I did it. I just did it as fast as I could. I have mentioned before I am terrible at hand stitching, but because it's under the collar, like nobody's the wiser. And now it lays flat and it looks nice when he's wearing it. And that is how I fudge things to make it look like I know what I'm doing. Now we're on to the best.